Hello and welcome to Scale War Machines. Time for another guide looking at popular modelling products. Here's what we'll be looking at this time. Always an exciting day when we get a tank art to review and this is Tank Art 4 by Michael Rinaldi. Certainly something that's going to get German armour fans very excited. So what is tank art? Well, if you've seen our previous videos, you'll see it's a very high production value book, soft cover, made by one of the most respected armour modellers of current times. What can you expect in tank art? Well, you can expect top quality modelling, inspiration, lots of it, and plenty of guidance on how to get the latest effects and techniques that are in vogue. German armour is by far the most popular subject matter for most scale modellers, so this is bound to sell well. It's the fourth in the tank art series. You'll see that it's soft cover. If we flip to the end, there's about 220 pages. Let's take a look inside. You can see we've got uh, all the chapters marked out here. What are the subjects in this edition? Well, we've got a Tiger II, a Nash Horn, a grill, a storm assault gun, and a captured Shah B1 bis. What's worth noting in this one is some new elements, certainly the presence of a new modeler, Mario Enns, who's very well known. If you look up here, the technique proficiency is a new addition, and then you've got a whole section on winter whitewash, and there's a load of other models in there. Let's take a look. Straight up at the beginning, you've got this technique proficiency section, which is more general and designed to illustrate how to and how not to do some of the most common techniques. We've got pin wash there, chipping, pigments, speckling. The difference here is that it's in a sort of magazine-y format where it's done on scrap pieces and so on, not on a complete model, so you get an idea of how to do it. There's whitewashing, which would be a major part of this whole book. Editorial content on how to do it and the sort of philosophy behind the work of the author. Always illustrated with just fantastic photography and, of course, excellent models. Here's another section with a dedicated chapter on winter whitewash. And again, there's more models within that. Here you can see interesting from our point of view to see a 170 second scale model in there. That's the Panzer IV. We've got an elephant. There's a Stug III. You get the idea. And then we're into the chapters themselves where there's a much more detailed look at each particular model, starting off with a Tiger II. This is probably our favourite, the uh, Nass Horn. The beauty of this edition is they've tried to pick different camouflage schemes, so different from previous publications, so there's always something new. Here we've got these uh, sort of um, disc camouflage and different techniques. For instance here, Michael Rinaldi talks about using Tamiya lacquer thinner to sort of erode a paint coat, very interesting. Next up there's the grill, again another top class model, just fantastic. Get these lovely spreads showing the model. There's that uh, infantry gun. Beautiful weathering there. And the book explains all from the base coat all the way to the muddy and weathered end result. And finally, the Shah B1 Bis by that excellent modeler Mario Enns. One of the things we like to these collages are sort of multiple shots of each process of dry brushing and washes really useful for the beginner trying to emulate this technique. There you go, Tank Art 4 by Michael Rinaldi. Highly recommended and available now. There's more videos on the website and you can check out our Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter communities. Bye for now.